Hey YouTube, what is up and welcome back to tutorial number 15 and in this tutorial I'm just going to explain to you guys what the CSS box model is and I'm just going to start off by saying that it's actually quite easy to learn guys and you're going to be using it in every single web page you write from now on so uh, that's just one more reason to stay and watch this video until it's finished and what I want you guys to do now is just go over to the body of your web page and you can add in any element you want. I'm just going to use a header. So let's just go ahead and h2. And inside my header, I'm just going to type something random like I love my subscribers. Just like that. In fact, I love you guys so much, I'm going to put an exclamation mark there. Um, okay, cool. So now we can go ahead and run this in Firefox. And you're saying to me, okay, well, this is no different to anything I've shown you guys in the past. It's just a plain old boring header on the top of our web page. Why are you showing me this? Well, what if I told you that every single element on our web page is actually displayed as a box? You guys can't see that box yet, but it is actually here. It's just all white or it's all transparent so you can't see it but what if I went back to our CSS and I changed the background quickly so let's just change the background of our header to be blue background minus color and we'll use this blue from the previous tutorial which was 008AFF and now we can go ahead and refresh this in Firefox and now you can kind of see we've got this long blue rectangle with our header in it um, so you can sort of see this box taking place now right now it's just the background that you can see but um, yeah you can actually see it now what if I said that this box was made up of four parts okay the first part is the content which is this text right here then the next part is the padding which is how much space there is between where my text ends and where the blue of our background uh, ends as well so the space between maybe the bottom of our text and the blue of our background but as you can see there's not actually much space in fact I think it's zero pixels so right now our padding is set at zero and then the next part after that is the border which is basically just a line that goes all the way around our box and the final part is the margin which is how much space do we want between this box and the next box or the side of our website so as you can see here this little space between where my window starts and where my header starts or where the blue of my header starts that is a margin so that's the four parts of the CSS box model and in this tutorial I'm actually just gonna talk about padding a little bit so what you can do now is just go over to your CSS um, let's open that okay and like I told you guys the padding is the space between our text and the end of our blue box our blue background so let's just go ahead and add in a little bit more padding and then you guys will probably understand as soon as you see it so let's go padding and we'll set that equal to 20 pixels and when you save this and go back to Firefox watch what happens the space between our text and the end of the blue background is gonna get bigger watch BAM check it that okay so that's what padding is like on 20 pixels and what happens now is we've got 20 pixels of padding on the top so 20 pixels from here to here then 20 pixels on the left so 20 pixels from here to here and 20 pixels on the bottom same thing and we actually have 20 pixels on the right but it starts here and it goes 20 pixels in and our website if our header was so long that it took over two lines you'd get exactly the same amount of space from here to here as from here to here so that's pretty cool and that's how padding works but you can also have 
a different amount of padding on each side so you can go back here and you can choose keywords so you can have padding top as 20 pixels then uh, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and copy this then you can also have padding bottom and you can set that equal to like 60 pixels or something random well and then you can have padding left which you can set at like 50 pixels and well you can't even really see the padding right at the moment but you can also set padding right to something like 200 pixels we're not even going to see it so let's go ahead and save that and refresh and as you can see now that we've got 60 pixels of padding on the bottom 50 on the left 200 on the right so that would be from here to about here somewhere and then what is that 10 pixels on the top no, 20 pixels on the top still so that's how padding works and that's how you can use it to change the different uh, amount of space that you want in between your CSS box model so if we go back and we just have padding at the top then you just have the space on the top of our page check it out check so no space on the left no space on the bottom okay there's space on the right but there actually isn't because there's no space there uh, our head is just not long enough to fit all the way across the page and then we've got 20 pixels of space on the top so that's all I've got for you guys in this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it and in the next tutorial I'm gonna talk about borders which will be the line that goes all the way around our padding so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time I would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button and also don't be afraid to comment like or share my videos it's really gonna help my channel grow so thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time